leveled up, I thank God. Scrape from the mud, now it's time to get the pie. Sweat in my eyes. My future's turning up, what it's time to be a. Tony Khan does it again. Let's get into the video. What is up, guys? It's your boy Hercules, and we are back at it again. That is right. We are talking about AEW, specifically the owner, the CEO, the head honcho, Tony Khan. Now, this past week, it was the NBA, uh, not the NBA, the NFL draft, and they had Tony Khan being interviewed by the NFL Network. I believe that's who was interviewing him. And Tony Khan, they asked him, about his uh, condition, which if you don't know, uh, he got taken out by the elite or the EVP elite and Jack Perry. They asked him those questions, but then they asked him what he thought about this and that. And Tony Khan was talking about professional wrestling and how he is the second uh, the second company in the world, but they have the best wrestling in the world. But they're fighting against a Harvey Weinstein Corporation. And that triggered the whole internet wrestling community, specifically the WWE shills, the WWE fangirls. And I find it hilarious because deep down, everybody knows is 100% the truth. WWE has always, always had a little bit of controversial stuff behind the scenes. Always. You can do the research if you want, but if you want a little bit, they had the whole Hulk Hogan stuff. They had the Vince McMahon stuff. You had the whole CM Punk saying WWE is trying to kill him. You had the Vince McMahon getting sued by, uh, uh, what was it? The I believe it was the Federals or something like that. The government. For the whole steroids use. Uh, oh my God. It's so many stuff. The Owen Hart stuff. There's so much controversial shit. In WWE. That it makes 100% factual. That WWE is the Harvey Weinstein of professional wrestling. Now. Why is that triggering these these fans, why is that triggering? Well, you see, when someone brings out the truth, the facts, it pisses people off. They can't handle the truth. And Tony Khan just proved that once again. Now you're going to have your old heads like Eric Bischoff, uh, Jim Cornette, uh, all these TikTokers out there that are wrestling fans, these WWE shields. They're all, they're, they're all going to go out there and and complain that why he's talking about WWE. Why is he always talking about WWE? WWE lives rent free in there. Blah, 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 right? But the fact is, WWE is the Harvey Weinstein of professional wrestling. And sure, you can sit there and say, well, Vince McMahon isn't in charge anymore. Does not matter, man. It's still the same shit it's like if a company was well how can i put this that would make sense i guess you can say the whole yeezys the yeezy brand right i don't know how they're doing in sales or anything like that but when uh kanye west had that whole meltdown and had that whole i guess people say that anti uh what was it Jewish stuff and uh, everybody started backing up. Everybody started backing up. But that still meant that brand was a significant brand that would make money. So people were still going to support it no matter what. Just like WWE. Whenever Vince is gone, guess what? People are still going to support that company. And guess what? That history, it's always going to be there no matter what. No matter Vince McMahon's dead. No matter Vince McMahon gets fired, gets Chris Benoit. It does not matter. It's still going to be there. Because just remember who built 
that legacy. It wasn't Paul Levesque. It wasn't Stephanie McMahon. It wasn't Shane McMahon. It wasn't Linda McMahon. It wasn't anybody else. It was Vince McMahon. The true hurts. And Tony Khan just proved it. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. I just leveled up, I thank God. Straight from the mud, now it's time to get the